Thank you guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. 2020 started off with a bang. Literally, in Iran. A bang, a bomb. World War Three was in fear by everyone. We thought Donald Trump was going to press the button and start a nuclear war. But the only war we saw this year was the BLM movement. Now, I'm not saying the movement was a disaster. You know, it was actually an eye-opener to the entire human race. I'm just saying it had a, a few factors like a world war. The whole world was affected by it. Society has been changed in a good way. And it all started because someone was killed. Instead of an 18-year-old student firing a pistol at Franz Ferdinand to start World War I, it was an egotistical police officer who squashed a neck. The last time people were squashed, that changed the world, were the victims of 9-11. Now obviously this year has not been like any other. Covid has affected many people around the world and has been the cause of death to millions. People had to stay in their houses with their families, like a prison camp. Nothing has been like that since the Holocaust. Now we all know what it's like to be a Jew. While we are in lockdown, we all became lazy, drinking alcohol, sitting down watching TV, not showering. Oh, I guess it's not like the Holocaust since... They had a lot of showers. We all started new hobbies and learned to do many new things. It's a shame lockdown didn't happen earlier. And then the helicopter pilot wouldn't have crashed the helicopter and killed Kobe. 2020 saw a change in many people, including Philip Schofield. It wasn't so much of a hot year for entertainment as movies weren't being made. But it was a hot, hot, hot year for Australia. We all said 2020 was going to be a banging year, and it definitely was with the Beirut explosion. Princess Diana raised a quitter, as well as a bad taste in taxi drivers. Harvey Weinstein got convicted. He should have raped an orphan. What are they going to do? Tell their parents? <laughs> no. This year has been a roller coaster of emotions and has hurt many people, including Johnny Depp's wife, bringing a whole new meaning to why he was casted for Sweeney Todd. Fantastic beasts and where to find them? <laughs> More like fantastic beats and where to find them on Amber Heard's body. But without further ado, boys and girls, let's get on with the 2020 Snowy Joe Awards. Welcome, boys and girls, to the Snowy Joe 2020 Awards. We take a look back on what 2020 had to offer for my channel, and we're going to be giving awards to the best videos and the best moments. I got you guys to do a survey voting for your best moments and best videos, and we're going to announce the winners tonight on this show. Let's get straight into the first category. Back in the start of the year, when lockdown started to happen, I uploaded vlogs every other day, and this category is for the best vlogs. <laughs> Prank wars have begun. I shaved my head. It's all going. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Please like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Mate, you're laughing, but you look exactly the same. <laughs> it does, yeah. Okay, don't call me Joe from now. My name is Kuzan, <laughs> and I've just emigrated from Hiberia. What's good, Danny? My name is Kuzan. <laughs> I am self isolating. <laughs> this is this is abysmal. Alright, if you're panic buying, right, I hope you're ashamed of yourself. This is pathetic. Oh, that's good, that's measured, that measures correctly. Yeah. That's six feet, is it? That's one metre, that's not far enough. Yeah, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not far enough. Far enough. It's one, it's one <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, you, you see, I can't <laughs> the window up. Wait, you have to turn on the ignition first. Right. I'll put mine down. What? Why? It's bloody hot, isn't it? I need some fresh air. 
What's wrong? It's just a not. I, I don't know. It's going to make me stressed. Why? Because it's outside world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you are a bit autism. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm autism. There's a bit of autism there, isn't there? Outside world. Of course, you're outside. You're driving a car. <laughs> And the winner of the best vlog is... I shaved my head! That vlog was awful. I looked horrific in it. I honestly look like an immigrant. It caused my girlfriend to break out of me. So, you know, there's one thing, isn't it? Let's get on with the next category. Also, during lockdown, I decided to make a series for my mates called isolation interviews. This is where I'd get my mates to talk to me and open up during lockdown as it, it does feel better when you open up and talk about it and get things off your chest. The nominees are... Backstabbing my best mate. You think? Talking about the long run, obviously recently there was a little incident. Yeah, no, I feel that was a kind of like accumulation of quite a few kind of built up. I've done something quite stupid and I didn't handle it very well. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the handling obviously is uh, the issue. My big frustration at the time was that the focus, I felt the focus, from, uh, the focus from you was on girls as opposed to kind of rebuilding the friendships that I feel you kind of lost in the year previously. Yeah, I think I was just frustrated that you hadn't really tried as much with the boys because I kind of rate my friendships based on how much you see them outside of school as opposed to in school. I, I admit, I put my hands up. What I done was totally out of order. I should have come to you first and not gone to her. Yeah, yeah. Victimised by my school. Uh, yeah, we're kicking you out. Like, what? Go, but it's not going to go um, on your record or anything. And all, I just started crying, man. I was like, what is this going on? I, I admit, I cried. Well, fair enough, yeah. My brother, he was in a apprenticeship, wasn't he, at school, so he was like, um... He went down on Thursdays, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it, it was on a Thursday, and he came out of school. We got like, pulled out, and like, we was driving around the road. He was like, why is Tommy crying? Like, what, what are you doing? And uh, he pulled over, and was like, what's going on? And I just, again, I started crying again. I was like, mate, it's not, it's not good. He me. He's like, that's disgusting. A four-hour relationship interviewing my ex. But yeah, so you said yes after, you know, a, a, let's say a minute of hell going, hee hee hee, what was I saying? Uh, which was great for me, really uh, boosted my uh, confidence in that. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. And then we spent the day with each other, and then it got to the... I got <laughs> home, <laughs> and I get, I, get, I get a message. No, okay, let's say, it actually was about three and a half hours, I'm not going to lie to you. So we spent three and a half... It was four, because I remember you, like, it was around 12 o'clock, it was four hours, and then I... Break up with you at four o'clock. All right. So I go home, all right, and check my... Actually, no, I go home, make some dinner, all right? Microwave meal, lovely jobbly. Come back upstairs, check my phone, I get a message from Gina. I was like, okay, all right, brilliant. My girlfriend snapped me. <laughs> and it's a message. Do you want to say all the... Do you want to tell them what, the, what, what you said? I said... <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was one line of, um, sorry, I can't do this. I need to break up with you. I've got a lot on my plate right now. That's it. I've got a lot on my plate. That's the well-known infamous saying, I've got too much on my plate. No, Relationships no, and no, rumours. It just went... <laughs> downhill. Well, yeah, that was, my, that was my fault. Though. That, was, that wasn't her fault. And it, it, it kind of... I think from your perspective, it probably seemed like it went... Pff. Yeah. It's because I kind of suddenly... I don't want to say changed my mind, but I had a different... I thought I thought differently as uh, um, during so what, how old was I? My summer coming out of year eleven, we broke up because I was in I I was going through that kind of process of thinking that way, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to be with someone. And she thought, well, there's no point us being together if you know that in the end that you don't want to be together. So we broke it off there. But obviously, you know, mix of resentment, a lot of like emotion thrown up, especially because then we went straight back into school, and then. Yeah. Especially when you're around certain social groups where they're like, hey, yeah, yeah, you, you're with that person. We're like, nope. And it's like, oh. And the winner is, boys and girls, of best isolation interviews. Here we go. Let's... Wow. The winner is backstabbing my best mate. Let's see what Johnny has to say about that. Thank you very much for this award. Um, I'm absolutely privileged and obviously can sleep relatively happy nowadays because of it. 
and even though Joe did uh, snake me to get his girlfriend, um, they aren't together anymore. I uh, imagine getting dumped because you shaved your head could never be me. Anyway, um, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Snowy Joe and have a good new year. That interview was probably one of the most honest interviews I've ever done with you know, one of my best mates, and, you know, we talked about a few things, you know, our recent arguments, opened up about a lot of things, got things off our chest, and it was good to see his point of view from everything. It was, it was very interesting, very interesting. The next category is most shocking moment. I'm looking forward to this one. The nominees are... <laughs> Guy that said his dad left him on a meagle. You so fat and wide, you can't even hide. I don't think you have a lover. Your father left your mother. He did. Oh. Why do you sound so happy about that, man? Yeah, but he, he beat up my mom, so moo. Shaving my head. Do it. Come on. What? Do what? Yeah, come on, try do it. Do what? Where? Oh, get in the bin. No. no I'm not doing it. No. I refuse no. to do it. No, no. Get away from me. No. I refuse. How are you feeling? Anything for the weekend, sir? Uh, I'm thinking about going fishing. There's more fish in the sea, you see. My heart's racing, though. <laughs> My heart is racing. Oh, you're going all round? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Just leave it like this. Absolutely fine, Dad. I'm absolutely cool like this, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, no. He's a brain. I could actually put you down for child abuse for this. <laughs> Gelling my hair. And that's, that's it. That's year nine, me. Why have I, why have, this is stupid. I can't believe you guys have asked me to do this. It's absolutely pathetic. What is so good about this hairstyle? Guy breaking phone on Discord talent show. Let me see the screen. Bit broke. To get a yes, can you do it with your actual phone? Nah, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, Neil. <laughs> Did you smash it? Is there a mirror in your room? Yes. Show me if in the mirror. What? Oh, no, what have we done? What? <laughs> 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 you just smash that? Who's the one? Joe. Oh, coming up now. What's happening, mate? That was your fault. You told him to do that. Have you just broke your phone? He's getting told off. He's moving him. You told him to do that. No, I didn't. You know what? He's getting told off. Let's leave him to it. I hope you you, you don't get grounded, mate. Oh no. Oh. And the winner is. There we go. This is. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. You know, most shocking moment. Wow. The guy that broke his phone on the Discord talent show. That, that was an interesting one. Let's see what the guy has to say about that. I'd like to thank everyone as I've won the most shocking moment award on the Snowy Joe channel. Make sure to subscribe and like. I'd like to thank my brother for coming into my room and punching me. I also have to get a new phone. I'd like to thank my dad for birthing me into this world. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Well, fair play, mate. Fair play. It was it was shocking. I didn't really think you actually were going to break your phone. And your brother coming in at the time was just brilliant. Fair play to your son. Let's move on to the next category. This year, I've decided to change my ways and do something I've never done before. And that's by making a few songs. And as I did make a few songs, I realised that I am absolutely tone deaf. The nominees are... I can't live another day. The lockdown song. Day, tell me why we've been grounded by Boris. Tell me why panic buyers are taking the piss. Don't stop Corona. The coronavirus song. Just a small town man living in Wuhan. He sold a dirty bat in a market. 
Year 2020. You said I've been to the year 2020. Three days in there was a third world war. Three months in there was a global pandemic. Carol Baskin, she killed her husband. The birthday song. This isn't funny, I don't even have a girlfriend No special event for me then My money's gone, I'm driving, got no money to spend It's my birthday, my birthday And I ain't got a Scooby-Doo It's my birthday, my birthday I need someone to come through And boys and girls, the winner of the best song is Oh, it's close, you know. But in the lead by one vote, that is mad, is Don't Stop Corona. Clapping every week. Up and down the street. I've seen neighbours I've never seen before. To be fair to you, that was one of my favourite songs I made. I felt like it, it just, it just brought everything into coronavirus. You know, it told a little story at the start. It was, it was the most relatable one, and you know, and I, I vibe to it. You know, like it's on my playlist. You know, like it's, it's a banging song. The next category is most underrated video. These videos I feel like didn't get as much appreciation as they should have. You know, they were banging videos, and I felt like they should have done well. The nominees are. Truth or drink? You can name a few for me. The worst I've ever done is... It's, it's, there's quite a variation. I've done pretty bad things in the past. The worst thing I've probably done was... Oh, I don't know what I should say. Uh, basically, I'll just say tried to get with another girl while going out with someone. That's what I'm gonna, That's the worst thing I've ever done. Would I lie to you? On, Once on a first date, right, at a restaurant, um, the girl I was with, she saw her ex there, and then got back together with him. <laughs> wait, 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 no, 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 no. Please tell me this is not true for your sake. Do you want me to explain the story? Yes. Yeah. Real life bingo. Um, so we found a crime scene because Guy Fawkes tried to blow that up. So, so it's a bit of an old one, but <laughs> yeah. I, still feel, I still think it counts. It's, it's a blast from the past if you're part of the fun. <laughs> Quite literally a blast from the past. <laughs> That's the whole point of the joke, Jack. Things only British people understand. People will know that you never say no to a haircut. And we are done here, so it's all right. Oh, it hasn't come off at the back. The top's too long. Yeah, that's brilliant, mate. Thank you so much. And then we go home and complain to our family until someone tells us to go back. And then we do, and it's all good. But just imagine, just imagine, if someone did say no to a haircut. Let me done. Is this all right? Uh, no, can you please come off the top? Yeah. What? Uh, the top is a bit too long. Do you mind cutting it a bit more off? Sorry, I thought you just said no there. Yeah, I did. Hey, Darren! What? He just said no to his haircut. Shut up, no way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah, he wants me to cut more off at the top. You what? He wants me to cut more off at the top. Oh, and the back as well. And the back as well. This guy's taken the piss. Listen, if you want more off at the top, you've got to go home and come back. But so I'll ask you again. Is this alright? Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you so much. And pretending to be a girl on Tinder. Is your personality as attractive as your eyes? You look like the smiley potato faces. Oh, right. Cheers. <laughs> And the winner of most underrated video is... It's never Joe Awards. Wow. Pretending to be a girl on Tinder. If you go back and watch this video, 
it's hilarious, you know. I do fall quite a few lads on there and out. A few creeps on there, to be honest. And yeah, I, you know what? Happy. Well done. Fair play. Fair play. The next category is. During 2020, I became a prankster. A well-known prankster. I pranked my mates. I pranked my brother. I pranked my family during lockdown. The nominees are. Making my mates sing Wrecking Ball. Yeah, but what's the phrase that people say? There's something... There's... They're running... Oh, but what do you say? It's, it's, it, you're saying it. I'm running for my life. Yes, that's it. Well done. When you die, what is the letter where you give your possession, possessions to other people? It's called a will. Okay, um, repeat after me, alright? This is, this is an easy one, don't you worry. We're meant to start crashing. We're meant to start crashing. In a blazing fall. In a blazing fall. I just closed my eyes. I just closed my eyes. And the war was left to win. And the war was left to win. If you put chairs on a fire, the chairs will eventually... Burn. Before you love something, you only... Like it. Faking my holiday to my mates. A Photoshop picture of me on the sunroof, rooftop terrace kind of thing at my hotel in Madrid. I put all my time and effort trying to photoshop this perfectly so no one would get suspicious. This was the hardest step of the video so far. My goal is to get ordinary comments on my photo and hope that none of my mates clearly see it's photoshop. Okay, so we've got our first comment from uh, my mate Ralph. He has commented the two eye emojis. Oh, another, another comment. Another, another comment. comment. Another comment. Another comment. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, my mate Jack has commented the king emoji and the star thingy emojis, and we're still getting likes and stuff. Boys and girls, I'm putting this like a mental part. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm happy. It's working. I was getting more likes and everything was normal. The spider prank on me. Was Drew pranked me? I'm gonna get him back, right? So he pranked me, yeah. I'll print out spider. Right, so I'm gonna cut out now. I hope he falls for it. Small. Done the spider, it looks kind of real. What on earth? Alex? Yeah. Because we're getting, we can't even call anyone. We have to wait for my dad to come back. Oh, that is so big. That is so. What is so funny? It's funny. What? It's not a real spider. What? It's not a real spider. Water running down the stairs. <laughs> one as well. Get shoes, yeah, and put the water in the shoes and say water's running down the stairs. Why is there water running down the stairs? There's water running down the stairs. I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. That was my idea. That was my idea. <laughs> Let's go. That was my idea. That was my idea. Oh, you leaving? No, no, no reaction. Broken TV prank. That's beautiful. Let's do this. Let's go. Oh. Oh, Joe. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What is actually wrong with you? Very yeah. broken TV. No. Mum. Idiot. Can you come in? Mum. You broke the TV. Oh! You need to tell Dad about that. <laughs> is that it? Is that it? You just don't care about the TV. Is that, is that, is that what is that? Tell you what, that is a strong category. There's some really strong nominations on there, but the winner of best prank of 2020 is obviously making my mates sing Wrecking Ball without them realizing. Live. I can't live a lie. I will always want you. I can't 
Now, obviously I copied Will and Ian, had to change the song, but this was probably one of my favourite videos I've made this year. Bringing my mates together to do a fake quiz, and then them not realising that they're singing the lyrics to Wrecking Ball. Brilliant, absolutely loved it, they all look like schmucks. Let's go on to the next category. Now 2020, I uploaded the most videos, and a lot of those videos had some funny moments in. Here are the nominations. Iron Gollum. What is the name of a person who makes and repairs things in iron by hand? Oh, oh um, surely, come on, let's get some money today, lads. Come on, we're doing well, and then it's just gone all downhill. Trumps, on a level, let's get paid. Right, go on, Manta. Black. Oh, I put Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, <laughs> It's blacksmith. It's blacksmith. It's blacksmith. Joe, Joe, I need a new partner. Rance is a bit retarded. Where will you go with a golem? Iron golem, Minecraft. Alright, this guy's a nerd. Simon Sam doing magic. I am a magician. Oh my god, straight into it. Straight into it. Okay. He's quick. He's not here to mess about. He's not going to get you 10 minutes, but in terms of me, he's the last guy. Oh my god! <laughs> that kid is magic! Mum not realising that the toilet is smoking. Wait, Alex, the, t the toilet's smoking, mate. <laughs> the toilet is smoking, come here. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the toilet's smoking. What toilet? That's what I can smell then. Yeah, it's. The no. <laughs> Do you not understand? It's smoking! Do you not get oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you not understand? <laughs> Kissing Gandhi's feet. We found Gandhi. It's what? a bit of a strange text message. What on earth is that about? Now that is the statue of the famous Millicent Garrett Falcon Fucket. Falcon Fawcett. Tomato tomato. <laughs> So that is a statue of a woman. He looks like, like Gandhi. Gandhi. Oh, he's Gandhi! He's hey! <laughs> man, like! So it's just like kiss his feet or something? Odds on? Huh? I'm not kissing Odds on? Odds on? I said odds on. I said odds on. Okay, go on then. What are the odds? Go on, one to ten. Three, two, two one, four. Five. Jack, odds on? One to twenty. Three, two, one, thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> real quick, real quick. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just lips the statue. You just lips crusty, dusty feet. <laughs> Roasting fat people. Hello, Karen. You porker. Here at my motivational, inspirational club, we believe that the only way to losing weight is to fat shame. So here we go. You're so fat. When you fall down the stairs, I thought East End was ending. Your eyebrows are the only thing in shape. You may weigh over 200 pounds, but on Mars, you're only 76 pounds. You're not overweight, you're just on the wrong planet. So f off. Karen, you may be fat and ugly, but if you go to the gym, you can just be ugly. If you keep eating, you will need to get a bigger house. Karen, if you ever have a threesome, the two men will never meet. And that's just sad. The camera may add 10 pounds. So stop eating cameras. And beefing oh. a chav on a meagle. What is wrong? Are you going through a midlife no. crisis at the age of 12? I'm not 12. Why have you got two earrings on one ear? When is here and when is here? Nah, there's definitely two on each ear. You, nah, you, 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 you're waffling, you're waffling. There's two on each ear, all right? Shut up! I don't like you! Stop Stop coming on Amigo! Just, just go away and find yourself a girlfriend, you little rat! I have a girlfriend, actually. You don't have a girlfriend, you're too ugly. I'm too ugly? Look at you! Your eyebrows are the size of squirrels, okay? So let's just tone it down a bit, love, okay? So the only thing wrong with my makeup is my eyebrows. What else is wrong with my makeup? I don't know, it looks like you're wearing a turban as well. 
This is a bun, look. It's a bun, it's here, literally here. <laughs> Strong nominations again. That is mental. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. And the winner of the funniest moment of 2020 is kissing Gandhi's feet. Now, obviously, this wasn't me who done this. So let's see what my mate has to say about kissing Gandhi's feet. Thank you for voting me for Funniest Moment of the Year Award. And what has my life come to? I go to private school and still manage to win the Funniest Moment Award. I'm also one of the only people that has kissed Gandhi's feet that's still alive to tell the tale, so that's another thing to add. But I just want to thank you once again and like, subscribe, and Happy New Year. Fair play to you, Jack. Funny moment, lad. Let's go into the new category. Now, boys and girls, this is the penultimate category. I uploaded many videos during 2020, the most videos I've ever uploaded any other year. This category is for the best video. Here are the nominations. Okay, the new dish track. Does your girlfriend know that she's an experiment? She's wasting her time with you. And that's the tea, would you look at that, she follows me I would bend her over and over again Until she's screaming and praying, amen You think you're all that, but you're a scrawny little prick You just can be but look like you make me feel sick I can say what I want, I don't feel no guilt So shut the fuck up and go pop on your kill Man, your hair is back in 2003 Your girl is the biggest slut I've ever seen How you letting her be called a public figure She must smell from all that gonorrhea I faked my holiday. At one problem I had faced and the biggest hoax ever to take place was that all my friends and myself use Snapchat. As you are aware, if you have Snapchat, there's a thing called Snap Maps, which tells you where your friends are if you have them turned on. Now, problem is, I always have my location turned on for my friends. And when I ignore my snaps, my mates look at my location and can see that I've, I've aired them, which is what I do a lot. So if I randomly turn my snap maps off when I'm going on holiday, which is where I sh should have them on, they're going to instantly think something's up and they're going to realise that something's going on here, something's a bit fishy. So I went on Google and did some research. Hours later, I found an app. This app fakes your location so you can be anywhere in the world. Look, I'm back in Australia, but I'm not. I'm in my room. It's mental, isn't it? Look, now I'm in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Do you see any water? No, because I'm in my room. It's fake. I lived like The Rock for 24 hours. I don't know what to say. I, I, I've lost the will to live. Why does he need this much broccoli? This is so unnecessary. Oh my god. I hate salmon. Oh my. You can see how much I was struck. Each mouthful was hell. I know you might think I'm dramatic, but I hate salmon. Like, what looks appetising about this meal? I've got the answer for you. Nothing. I made my mate sing Wrecking Ball without realising. Jeez, you're on fire, mate. What the hell? What is the name of the film that features a clown called Pennywise? It. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. What's in between X and Z in the alphabet? Why? Brilliant. Well done. Well done. On a roundabout, if I put the left indicator on, where am I going? Left. Well done. What is the three letter word that is placed between two separate words? And. Lovely job. One word interview. If you could be heard by the whole world, what would you say? Brexit. Brexit? Just Brexit. <laughs> Probably say something silly like nuggets or something. Imagine if you're just laying in bed and a random person is like whispering your ear. What? What? It's about that he's like, imagine if you're laying in bed and someone is whispering your ear. Yeah, imagine, you'd be like, what the f? And Discord talent show. Charlie, okay, and what are you going to bring for us today? A talent is I can read your mind. You can read our minds? Oh my god, this is mad. Alright, who do you want to do first, me or Ramps? Uh, whoever. Stuck between us. Alright, Ramps, you go first, man. I'm the guest, alright, fair enough. Alright, alright, got you. <laughs> right, just think of a number between 1 and 10, don't say it out loud. Okay. Alright, from that number, times it by 2. Yep. Uh, from that, times it by 5 again. Hang on, I'm not good at maths. 
Then divide it by the number you've chosen. Yeah. Um, and then take away seven. I've got my number. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. Now, is your number three? After everything that's happened, I really don't want to put you down, boss. <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, this is, this is an exciting one. My best video I've ever made in 2020 is... I faked my holiday! That is amazing, honestly. The amount of hard work and thought I had to put into that video to truly fake my holiday and prank my mate was amazing. I remember when I uploaded it, all their reactions, obviously you don't see that, but all their reactions, they were like, you prick, I can't believe you got me. They were amazed, they honestly thought I went to Madrid. I even FaceTimed my mate afterwards, right, saying, yeah, right. I've actually been to, to Isle of Wight, you know, not Madrid. And he was going, mate, you're lying. I saw your social media. You were in Madrid. <laughs> it was, it was it, my best, my most fun video. I loved it. Yeah, deserving winner. Let's get on to the final category. Now, here is the category you've all been waiting for. The best moment of 2020. This year has probably been my favorite year since I've done YouTube. A lot of stuff has happened. So, nailing it down to a few things. A few moments was hard, but here are the nominations. Roasting a fat person. Fireman Sam doing magic on Discord talent show. Tricking my mate that I sent him a photo from Madrid as he sent me this. Go here for me. That's where I was last year. Was trying to stay at the hotel you're in. Haha. <laughs> Wait, you were there last year or trying to? I went to Deer Hotel, trying to stay at your hotel, haha. I couldn't bloody believe it. There was no way he was trying to stay in my hotel out of the whole of Madrid. I tried to waffle my way out of it. Head there for hashtag memory. What do you want me to do there? I will try, but my dad's got a huge itinerary. Just send me a photo of the place. CR7 stayed there. Oh, for God's sake, Johnny, leave me alone. I went out to TripAdvisor and found the best traveler photo of the exterior of the hotel Cristiano Ronaldo stayed at. The next morning, I sent him the photo. This was the make or break for the video. Would he believe I took this photo or would the head boy of my sixth form catch me out? And he believed me, I did it. Like this video right now as I'm truly a genius. My mates actually believe I'm in Madrid. Oh bless them. Shaving head and recreating an old music video. Before I announce the winner, I would like to say a massive thank you to all your support this year, boys and girls. It's been absolutely amazing. I thought my channel had died, I really did. But this year has been a been a turning point, you know, resurrection, as we should say. Thank you very much. I appreciate it for your support. Please keep it going. I'm not going to be keep you waiting any longer. The best moment of 2020 is obviously Fireman Sam doing magic on the Discord talent show. This moment was the funniest and the best moment that has ever happened on my channel. It became viral on TikTok, and because of that, here's what happened when I talked to Fireman Sam about it. Um, so as you can clearly see, I'm not Fireman Sam. Unfortunately, due to circum circumstances, he does not want to be in the video. Uh, the reason is because the clip right here. These are mad. Fair play, mate. I mean. Well done. What do you mean, well done? Oh, sorry for the CV now, boss. There you go. Why don't you lose some weight as well? Okay. You're a di Uh, This is what he said to me. I got it on my computer right here. Let me just get it up. Right, he said, As Joel was rude to me, I do not want to feature on the video. I am aware of the meme on TikTok and I love it. My life has changed so much because of it. I get girls all the time. I get free school meals. I get a free membership to the gym, which I do not use. But thank you for the award. Fuck Snowy Joe. But boys and girls, that is the Snowy Joe 2020 Awards. I'll see you next year. Thank you so much for a banging year. It's been great. Best year on YouTube 
so far. I've, I've absolutely loved it, you know. I've met two great people that we've become a group channel. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. Here's to the new year. And hopefully there's no disease attacking this year.